We are meeting up with Nina from Hu Si. Where are the guys? Uh, they're punished. Actually, they're in their rooms, and I uh, didn't let them come here and make an interview, not to be interviewed. They were so, they were so bad. So it means they're not going to perform uh, tonight? You're going to be alone on the stage? Um, I need them, actually, on the stage, but after that, they're going to their room again. <laughs> I'm sure that you, as your musician, you like Swedish music. Yes, very much. Especially not not because uh, she was the winner last year, but I like Lorin really and uh, Robin. I mean, uh, uh, she, Robin. Her. Uh, I like her music very much. This is also first uh, Eurovision experience for you. Uh, how it looks like from inside now after those few days and all those rehearsals? Uh, to be honest, I would uh, I would like to. Uh, uh, I would like that Eurovision lasts forever because I feel so good being here and uh, I wish I could represent my country every year <laughs> if it's possible, but it's not. Does it mean if whatever happens tonight that you can actually attend Eurovision again? Maybe in some different arrangement? Yes, uh, I'm trying to figure out something for next year. I know it's a hard question, but uh, still, um, what do you expect that it might happen tonight? Uh, well, I hope that we'll get into final, but uh, I don't expect that. Because that doesn't uh, depend only uh, on us, but uh, there are um, many, uh, many different factors <laughs> that, uh, uh, that, 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 you know what. <laughs>